but today we're off to the, the Museum of the Docklands. All about the Docklands back in the day when it was hard work and manual labour. But yeah, so we're here at Canary Wharf uh, going into Poplar and the museum's not far from there. So just on my way now. I'll show you the history. I think going back from the 1920s of all the shipments coming in to London was through the Docklands. So yeah. So if you haven't subscribed guys, click the subscribe button. Click the like button if you enjoy the content. And don't forget to ding the little bell. Because by doing that, you are notified when I upload new videos. So for now, let's get to the Museum of Docklands and show you around. of this museum is that's the entrance to the Limehouse Tunnel so yeah you can walk right along the roadside and then cut in uh, as if you're going to Canary Wharf which is just there behind me that and then uh, I stand corrected the Museum of London Docklands is just around the corner and it's a beautiful walk on the way there as well it's right on the water and i'll show you that as well i want to go out and face the cold but it's a really good time for a monologue can't let this pass i find it hard to breathe Time is up, the bell has rang And it's really hard to understand That losing you now is the only choice for me But someday, I wrote so cross before And someday, I wrote so sure I'll find its shore It's actually West India Quay is the name of the place where the museum is. And just behind me, you can hire them floating barbecue boats or just have a little, little tour around uh, West India Quay. You can hire them. There's different kinds they've got. Yeah, barbecue and hot tub. There you go.
Don't fancy that much. Doesn't look too comfortable, does it? That's history. That's incredible. Just picture the, them all sitting around the table and, and him saying, look, you can't go on. It's fantastic. Just history is just priceless, isn't it?
Um, I would say a little bit different to the pubs that we have nowadays. <laughs> Just a little bit though. But uh, it was the place to be, wasn't it? Back then, it was great for them. But how things change. History, hey? So, uh, yeah, could I have an espresso martini, please? No? You just do ale? Okay. All right, I'll leave it then, thanks. go out and face the cold but it's a really good time for a monologue can't let this pass i find it hard to breathe time is up the bell has rang and it's really hard to understand but losing you now is the only choice for me
processing plants and shipyards line the riverfront and nearby districts. The fight is not lost for the German High Command. Cripple the port and you paralyze London. Paralyze London and you kill resistance to invasion. The port of London became target area A, an area which included the Ford plant of Dunham, huge gas works at Beckton, and the munitions factories of the Woolwich Arsenal or en route up the Thames. Along with aerial photography, the Luftwaffe used their own model of London support to train pilots in preparation for attacks. While London's dockers were busy loading ships, the Luftwaffe were loading a more sinister cargo. Museum of London Docklands and you can either access it from the West India Quay DLR or even Canary Wharf DLR and walk across the bridge or Poplar DLR and walk down and walk through like I did but it's so easy accessible um, and there's me at the intro saying 1920s Docklands I think I was meant to say that's when it ended because it goes back way way back but as I said history is priceless it's fantastic especially in the area that you live just to find out a bit more about it and how they used to do things back then uh, just incredible so yeah hope you enjoyed it guys if you did give us a like 
um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel give us a subscribe and also ding the little bell for future notifications hope you enjoyed it little museum for you um, I'll see you in the next one